<laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Maize. This is the segment of the show where we spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. Where's my opening montage, guys? What happened? It's like serving you rice without stew this morning. <laughs> I hear my montage is missing. Well, our technical guys are trying to fix that up. Uh, talking about missing items, President Bwari's uh, YX certificate uh, uh, has not been found. Uh, President Bwari submitted his credentials to INEC without his YX certificate. You recall that in 2015, this same issue uh, happened and uh, generated a lot of debates in the, in the Nigerian media and across uh, poli the political space. But again, this time around, we are experiencing the same thing. President Bwari has submitted his credentials uh, for the 2019 presidential elections without his YX certificate. This issue sparked of uh, a lot of controversy in the Nigerian social media. Uh, let's take a look at uh, how this issue passed hand out uh, over the weekend in the Nigerian social media president Bwari, as was the case four years ago, declines to submit his academic credentials to Nigeria's Electoral Commission, unlike seven other presidential candidates, including Atiku, who did. Uh, the Guardian reported this uh, uh, over the weekend. Uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, excerpts from that report. A list of presidential candidates released by INEC on Thursday identified 70 out of 91 political parties fielding candidates for presidential elections in 2019, including Buhari, who failed to attach necessary documents as required for his re-election bid. Buhari, a retired major general, told the electoral body that his credentials are still with the military and attached an affidavit to support his claim. Quoting him, I am the above-named person and the deponent of this affidavit hearing. All my academic qualification documents as filed in my presidential form APC 001 2015 are currently with the Secretary of the Military Board as of the time of this affidavit, Buhari said. Uh, let, let's take a look at uh, a video, a throwback into 2015 and take a look at how this issue uh, was confirmed by the Nigerian military as uh, the, the YAC uh, uh, certificate not even being in the possession of the Nigerian military. Let's take a look at this video. Now, it is the practice in the Nigerian army that before candidates are shortlisted for commissioning into the officer's cadre of the service, the selection board verifies the original copies of the credentials that are presented. However, there is no available record to show that this process was followed in the 1960s. Nevertheless, the entry made on the Nigerian army form 199A, at the point of documentation after commission as an officer, indicated that the former head of state obtained the West African School Certificate in 1961 with credits in relevant subjects. Neither the original copy, the certified true copy at the CTC, nor the statement of results of Major General Muhammadu Buhari's West African school certificate result is in his personal file. Those credentials are in his personal file. The Nigerian Army said uh, uh, this issue sparked off quite a, a debate in the Nigerian social media. Uh, Chief Daily Momodo tweeting at Daily Momodo waiting on the issue. He said Nigerians should campaign for their candidates on issues and avoid frivolous distractions. Buari in his military courses surpassed YX certificates. We should let sleeping dogs lie, please. And then he attached a screenshot of an email uh, purportedly sent by the U.S. Army uh, claiming that President Buari actually attended uh, uh, the U.S. Army War College. Uh, uh, let's take a look at that uh, email, which uh, the screenshot is attached here. Uh, this this, this uh, email is from Kerkaro uh, from the U.S. Army, stating that Nigerian Colonel Muhammad Bari is a graduate of the U.S. Army War College, class of 1980, and earned a U.S. Army War College diploma. Uh, note the Army War College first awarded master's degrees to the class of 2000. Uh, this issue has generated a lot of talk in the social media. Let's go on and take a look at uh, more comments from Nigerians, how Nigerians are reacting to this matter. Uh, let's take a look at a tweet from Nigerians over the week on this matter that was trending. You can still see the screenshot of the letter from the U.S. Army, which is being said to be the qualification of President Muhammadu Buhari. Um, from Henry Sheet, we saw this tweet. We will scrutinize how Buhari became a general in the Nigerian Army without presenting a certificate that was needed for enrollment. 
uh, quoting, to whom it may concern, does not represent a YX certificate. I think apparently making reference uh, to the email we just read. And from Ilinem, we saw this tweet. Uh, so we are back to this YX certificate matter again. I defended Bwari in 2015, even believing that GEJ ordered the military to withhold it. Now I look back and I'm terribly ashamed of myself. I even joined the He Can Be President with Nepa Bill Brigade. Suffer the open Aisha. Uh, let's take a look at more tweets from Nigerians uh, from Idris G with Idris Goje tweeting at Idris G. We saw this tweet. Buhari saying that his YEC is with the army is more or less an ESCO member saying that his discharge certificate is with NYSC. Uh, quite uh, interesting uh, uh, perspective there. And from Jackson PBN, we saw this tweet. If Buhari has no certificate to submit to INEC, other presidential candidates should also not submit credentials to INEC. Employers should stop demanding for certificates from job seekers. It should become illegal to ask for WAEC or academic qualifications from job seekers. From Jackson Ude, we saw this tweet, uh, still on President Buhari's WAEC certificate issue. And from Adeon Judeji, we saw this tweet, Dear President Buhari, permission to lead a protest on your behalf, to demand for the release of your WAEC certificate by the military. We are willing to collect tear gas for you, sir. <laughs> from DG Adeonju, we saw that tweet. And then from uh, a parody account of the president, we saw this uh, uh, tweet. Yemi has SSC, BA, NYSC, ME, PhD, and is currently a pastor and a son. What do you people now need my ordinary WAEC certificate for? Is Yemi O not enough for both of us? <laughs> On a very hilarious note from a parody account of President Buhari, we saw that tweet. And then from uh, uh, Teguando One, we saw this tweet. The man who issued Buhari's certificate is still alive. Alani Akirina, they issued a statement. And Buhari classmates, some are still alive. And they visited him during the last Salah. They failed in 2015 with this wicked propaganda. And we fail again in 2019. The presidency has actually also come out uh, to speak officially on this matter. Femi Additional issued a statement yesterday. Let's take a look at X from that statement, uh, uh, he, according to Premium Ties filing that report, only idle people discuss Buhari's certificate saga. Femi Additional. Femi Additional says uh, uh, this is an this talk for idle people. The issue of the president's uh, YX certificate. Uh, the certificate saga is a dead issue. Only idle people will consider it. The special advisor on media and publicity to the president said when contacted by the nation on Saturday. It is something that has been laid to rest before the 2015 general elections, he added. Those raising the issue, PDP and others, are idle and they have run out of ideas. They see defeat staring them in the face and they are desperate to cling to any straw. This issue was resolved before the 2015 election. But was this issue really resolved? <laughs> well, let's go on to another issue that was trending over the weekend. The chaos as the Nigerian military and the Shiite, uh, members of the Nigerian Shiite movement uh, clashed in Zuba in Abuja. Uh, we saw terrific, uh, terrible images featured, featuring into the Nigerian social media. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this issue as it panned out in the Nigerian social media with a lot of comments that followed. Nigerian army troops shoot dead three Shiites after members of the sect set up an illegal road roadblock in the Nigerian capital. Uh, let's take a look at uh, excerpts from this report and of course a video, a very disturbing video uh, that has been trending in the Nigerian social media. Warning, graphic video. The Nigerian army said troops on Saturday shot dead three Shiites after members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria allegedly set up an illegal roadblock in the Nigerian capital. This video shows soldiers using live bullets on the protesters. And hashtag Nigeria. This is from The Guardian. This video, uh, let's take a look at that video and the comments are followed. Wallahi, Wow, very disturbing footages and then Nigerian army uh, posted uh, uh, the account of what happened in its official Twitter handle tweeting at HQ Nigerian army Islamic movement in Nigeria attacked troops on escort duty at Zuba. Troops of Army Headquarters Garrison on official duty escorting ammunitions and missiles from Abuja to Kaduna 
pictures and details below. Uh, they attached the uh, images of uh, uh, the attack on, their, on, on the Nigerian army, as you can see in these images. Uh, uh, also in the video, you could see uh, the members of the Shiite movement using stones uh, uh, to confront the Nigerian army. And that uh, post by the Nigerian army generated some comments. Let's take a look at comments from Nigerians. Uh, from Kachi Zone, we saw this uh, tweet. You forgot to include human casualties. Instead, you've chosen to post vehicles, which apparently is more important to you than human lives lost and or injured due to your display of deadly force. Do better. Uh, from Kachi Zone, then let's take a look at more tweets from Nigerians. From, uh, from Dami Mana, we saw this tweet. The Nigerian army wouldn't have attacked if they didn't feel threatened in any way. The protest must have been illegally held or have some degree of public disturbance to it. The Shiites should take a more civil approach. You can't protest at will in a seat of power. These are comments from Nigerians from King J. King King J. G. G. We saw this at Twitter. There was no other way they would have responded. They are trained to respond that way. Simple. Besides, it seems as if the Islamic movement had a sinister move, considering the mission the army boys were on. They had to take a stand. Uh, let's take a look at uh, more comments again uh, from Dimik Dimik O One. We saw this tweet. People need to understand that when soldiers come under attack, when they feel their safety is not guaranteed, especially when threatened by the mob, they draw arms. That is their only lifeline. Civilians should stop putting them in that situation. And from Muda Shiro Oyema, they're tweeting at Muda Oye 2013. I'm sure no groups would have tried this with OBJ as president. You all know what the story would have been by now. Uh, comments uh, from Nigerians on social media, from Jamie Scrape, who saw this tweet. Uh, you guys are looking for ways to justify your genocidal acts against the Shiite movement. Remember, I was following orders, did not hold during the Nuremberg trials. Just continue. Uh, comments from Nigerians. And then uh, in reaction, I think, to some of the comments from Nigerians, uh, the Nigerian army again posted this tweet saying, just in pictures of troops attacked by IMN in Zuba. Please find attached additional pictures of troops who were pelted and attacked by IMN at Zuba yesterday. The public is pleased to note. Let's take a look at images. These are images of Nigerian soldiers after the uh, attack uh, on them by the members of the uh, Islamic movement of Nigeria. Uh, the Nigerian army shared these pictures on their official Twitter handle uh, on, on Twitter. Uh, and then from that, we move on on a very funny note uh, to Instagram, where we saw this uh, report, this Shongo channeling student Bond last week during the Mr. UI contest. This young man you are seeing in this picture uh, was performing, uh, was trying to <laughs> recreate the idea of Shongo, the god of thunder and lightning, and something happened. Let's take a look at the video and the comments that followed. Very funny and not so funny. <laughs> he tried to perform like Shango, the god of thunder and lightning, and he actually caught fire from KCI07 on Instagram. When they say, don't try this at home, and you don't listen, thank God it's getting better. And uh, from TK Border, we saw this on Instablog Niger. Please ensure there's a functional fire extinguisher within reach if you so desire to play Shango again. Wish you a speedy recovery. And um, from Rookspin Films, uh, uh, stop dating your ancestors. <laughs> And of course, on a very sad note, uh, uh, former P uh, BOT chairman of the People's Democratic Party, uh, Chief Tony Anani, passed on yesterday, uh, drawing a lot of tributes and uh, comments from Nigerians on the social media. Uh, he was the ESL of Asan Land, a very reputable Nigerian. Let's take a look at the comments from Nigerians uh, from President Muhammad Ubari's official handle. My heartfelt condolences to the Anani family on the death of his beloved patriarch and elder statesman, Chief Anthony Anani. Condolences also to the government and people of Edo State and the people. Democratic Party PDP, where he was a former chairman board of trustees. And then also from the Senate President uh, Bukola Saraki, uh, we saw we saw this tweet. Chief Tony Aneni was a consummate elder statesman who played several defining roles throughout Nigeria's democracy. He will be remembered for his great patriotism and his insight into national issues. And then from Atiku Abubakar, we saw this tweet. The passing away of Chief Tony Aneni, one of the founding fathers and elder statesmen of PDP, is a sad news to me and everyone who had a close and personal relationship with him. I pray for strength and comfort for his family. May God grant his soul a peaceful repose. And then also from Nigerians uh, generally, we saw this, uh, this tweet from 
in Senti Dewele 12. Uh, the earth has shaken. The great Iroko chief, Tony Aneni, has joined his ancestors. The sun rises and falls. There's nothing without an end. Adieu, great one. And then from uh, Amadi Chima, we saw this tweet. And Iroko has fallen. A titan, a giant amongst men. Adieu to the leader of leaders and peacemaker extraordinaire. Just when we needed your wisdom most, you departed, leaving us to our fate. But we have lent well under your wings. Rest in peace, Chief Tony Aneni. From Sam Hart, tweeting at Hart NG, if you saw Chief Tony Aneni operate in his prime, you know more than ever that life is a stage. Your curtains open, you perform until it closes. What you do when your curtains open will determine how you'll be remembered. Adieu, Iyasele. Adieu, leader of leaders. And then from uh, Boigby Augustine, tweeting at Prince E. Austin, on why you are such a great man. The unprecedented Chief Tony Aneni will remain an inspiration. We will surely miss him. Rest in peace, Chief Tony Aneni. Egdo State has lost an illustrious son. Nigeria has lost a political juggernaut of great repute. Uh, tributes to uh, the late, uh, great uh, Chief Tony Aneni. And again on the funny note, uh, now on entertainment, uh, uh, this whole concept of stew uh, is something that has been trending in Nigerian social media. Uh, when somebody dresses very well, uh, you see a comment like, wow, this is stew. And then, uh, but this particular person you are about to watch uh, has defined the meaning of stew in a very funny video coming after Whiskey launched his fever video that featured Tiwa Savage, the ex-wife of T. Bills. Let's take a look at the definition of stew by this Nigerian on to this video that has been watched over 41,000 times and has been trending in the Nigerian social media. Stew! Stew! Say, Obi Atadini. That will be the flash. Make him here. Best can come by that. Ah. Obi Atadini. Still, still, Whiskey, 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 whiskey,